Now we've fit the liners to the uh, Bristol engine. We knew this was going to be a complicated job because of the recesses for the exhaust and inlet valves where they're um, scalloped into the block just here and here. The liners have been feathered in, there's no need to deck this block. We don't really endorse that unless we have to do. Um, you cannot really see where the liners meet the block so to speak. Hell of a lot of work involved in this. The new liners have been bored out to standard to save the pistons because they are so expensive and they've been honed with the cross hatch. Found our light on our camera now so we can put light to the dark. I don't know if you can see down the bottom of the cylinder, just down here at the bottom, you could say left or right, we've actually cut out the recesses for the con rods. Um, this is where the engine's doing like a pedaling motion and the con rods actually move to that side and that side in rotation. This is very important. So now the next thing we're going to do with this engine is um, we're going to do a dry, what we call a dry assembly. We're going to put the crank, the big end bearings, the main end bearings, the con rods and the pistons in. Turn everything over. We've done a little video like this before on a three cylinder course engine. Um, but we're going to do the same principle with this engine and check all heights and clearances, uh, running clearances. The camshaft, the internal camshaft has to be fitted into the uh, block just here and then it has to be uh, measured for end play. We have the original um, tool for this actually, surprised, and our arsenal of very old accurate measuring tools. So it's all going to be good fun.